This video is sponsored by Field Pulse. Use the link that's in the description below and try risk free for seven days. All right. I'm pick up mana. being a lockout. It's going to be either the board or the valve. So we're going to take this off and we're going to check our voltage going to the valve and see if that board's sending the voltage. That way we can determine valve or board. So our middle is a common. Okay, so we got our, our leads in. We're gonna watch our voltage. So once that igniter ignites, it should send that 24 volts for that valve to open. times these connections can go bad in these 12 pin connectors so we're gonna to try to wiggle it some let's try it again So another way you can check is get your 24 volts clip on one side and then you'll go on the side that gets powered by the board. Hear that? Watch this. 
I'm gonna put power to it myself. Definitely a bad board. All right, so now we've got one more to look at. It's actually two different systems that's not working at the same place. So let's see what this one is. Both of them's the same model, same uh, same year, and all that. So the others have been replaced. So let's see what this one is. All right, so we're getting flashes on this one. Three flashes. Okay. Low fire pressure, switch stuck open. Okay. Sounds like it clicked on, but it ain't doing nothing. We're gonna reset it. And just so we know that it's getting the right call. And not having to wait on a delay. Now with a carrier, you can't do this. You have to restore the power and then connect W2R. Um, with the carrier furnaces, it'll automatically go into a delay when the blow, it'll make the blower kick on for a minute or so, and then we'll start trying to heat. So you wanna put your power on first with those and then do this, but I believe that that's the only brand, Carrier and Bryant. Okay. Inducer. Let's see if we're getting power to the inducer. All right, so to check your power on the inducer, we're going to look on the schematic and see which one is supplying the voltage. Red and white, I believe, but let's just look and make sure. Find inducer, white, red, black. really gonna have two boards this bad at the exact same time that's crazy that's the inducer plug here Black's high, red is low. We are not getting any power coming from this board. My goodness. That is crazy. Two boards, same top board, two different furnaces exact same time but either way that's how you that's how you'll check and make sure it's one or the other so when you get when you know your furnace order of operation you know what goes first second third um, so in this one you hear the first click that would be the inducer it's not coming on so it's gonna be one or the other board or inducer not sending any power so it's the board you can also check right here if it's sending it do a reset 
reset on it. There's the neutral. So that's how we would check it. Inducer neutral, low. Inducer high. So neither one. We're on high now. Another bad board. Well, all right, I'm gonna get everything pulled up in field pulse, type up all my information, what I found, and try to get them some prices on new control boards. I have to say that 15 years of doing this, I've never seen two furnaces in the same house with a board that goes bad at the exact same time. But it's different. One, um, one's not opening the gas valve, the other is not even starting the inducer. So two different issues with the exact same boards, but with different components. So it's really, really crazy. Um, I'm gonna get her some prices on replacing those boards and definitely the, um, and definitely that inducer for the upstairs is super loud. Um, and unfortunately can't test the inducer on this, uh, the other one that we just checked. So, um, she might be better off just, uh, look into replacing the furnaces instead of trying to repair these things. I know they're from around 2001, 2002. So 20 years old, these boards are going to be over a thousand dollars a piece. So, um, we'll see what she does, but a really cool situation to be able to film and get it, uh, get it put in a video. So hope y'all enjoyed this one and, and we'll see you uh, at the next one. Peace.